So then, hi guys, um, my sound, I hope it's working today, um, but today we are doing another episode, I've been on my half term break, so I'm back, um, this Saturday, um, and then we'll be back with a Planet Coaster episode, but today we're looking at the coaster, post-apocalyptica, um, made uh, by all credit to Flodfrid, um, <laughs> Then we're go we're gonna ride it. Then we're gonna do a review and talk about the coaster. Um, thank you to Charlotte Grant who uh, requested that we did a horror coaster in this episode. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm gonna download this coaster. Yep, they can't. Let's wait for them to get on. What are people going on? People going on. Oh my gosh, people are getting on it. Why am I so excited? Because I didn't even make this. <laughs> um, right then. So this is post-apocalypto. And I just guess I'm going to leave you here and say enjoy the ride. It looks awesome. I'm really excited to see what this coaster's like. Ooh. Whoa. Oh wow, the scenery is really cool. Ooh, weird music. Why is the guest like going crazy? That's a bit strange. Whoa, this is incredible. Great theming. We're not even at the roller coaster part yet. Going up the lift hill now, into the first drop. Why do I have like weird gloves on my hand? Whoa, big helix. Why does it have to go dark? It's better in the dark, actually. Oh, we just got hit there. Head chopper, love head choppers there. Great, amazing. Ugh. Imagine you get whacked with a load of fake seaweed. Oh, that's cool, I like that element where you go under the sea those branches it's the way it's way that that i did not see that coming whoa <laughs> what is that oh there's a track oh there's there's loads of alligators this is amazing this is whoa the theming is incredible why is that woman still doing that crazy thing 
or the oil, like the oil, what? This is, whoa. This is crazy. All credit to this creator. Wow. Seriously, this coaster, it's the theming, the lighting. It could have done with a roof on over top. Maybe like a nighttime roof because it's better at night time, but if you were riding it in the day, it probably wouldn't be as good. So maybe put one of the nighttime roofs over the coaster. Yes, the smoke. Crazy. Wow. Th th whoa, I, I can't believe it. The theming. Well, oh, it's still going. It's still going. We're still going. Curving round. Well then, that was incredible. That, seriously, wow. Oh my gosh, the queue of people. People love this ride. Woo! We're all partying. The queue. Wow. Getting a lot of money. Right then. Let's see. Can you add any more trains? Because there's a lot of people waiting. Oh my gosh, you can add loads. Let's put a load of them on. Maybe the throughput, hopefully. Oh, that. Where are they all going? Wow, the theme, look, look at the outside though, the building, just like I said, you could have a few of the nighttime roofs over, but do they do that in the console? I'm not sure if they actually do that in the console, I'll have a look, they might, I hope they do, a bit disappointed if they don't, oh my gosh. Look, the, look at that queue! What? Why are they all like stuck? Don't tell me, has there been a crash? There's been a crash, sadly. Right then, let's forget about that. Right, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a look. Hopefully, they still do. They do the nighttime roofs in Planet Coaster. Okay, it doesn't look like they have it. Uh, if you want to see, we'll check. But I don't think they have it. But this ride is incredible. So, oh, it's not even from that one. Probably took so sh such a long time. How do you get that? Oh, what was that? What? I tested it. Anyway, yeah, so the layout for this coaster is... You speed down here, down a little drop into your first um, water splash. Then these doors open, which is really cool. And you go through, around this giant, amazing piece of theming. You have the creepy, strange music playing and the lighting effects, as you can see here. 
and I just love the look. It's nicer going through this area at night time. Actually, I'll turn it to night time forever. Forever, forever. Ten p.m. Oh yes, that's nice. So then you go up the lift hill and do a lovely. Uh, I don't know if that's a double or a triple helix, um, but it looks like a double helix. And you curve round banking, um, and curve back into another banking turn to the left, which you go round and back into another banking turn to the right, which you then go through seaweed, mist, up into normal track. You go over a little tall hump area, then go curve round normally on the straight track, gathering some speed. Then you, you do a few different twists with the track, and you go into another drop underneath into water. Then you curve round into the second part of the boat ride, which you go through all the seaweed, enchanted trees, and then you curve around and through this big seaweed pit. Um, and then you kind of um, go like this, round moving through seaweed into another lift hill, which takes you into a right I don't know, it could be a right bank or it could be a half helix or something like that. Uh, which then goes down into a drop into water which curves round again. So it's kind of the same. Um, and it's a great like junior type coaster in the game. Uh, and it is hard to smooth out these cascade coasters. But yeah, then you go up into another lift hill. It, um, go down some drops and go through the building at one point and you just do a load of those curves and things and then you come round into the station so that's basically roughly the track layout there and um, the, the entrance is amazing it's such a great great entrance there um, and it's quite dark in the station at night too, as you can see. It would be a great ride for Disney. If, if maybe there was a bit of smoothing and a bit more cover over the roof to make it a bit more dark. Instead of having it an open track. Um, but yeah, you've got that there. And I think it is incredible. We're about, oh, let me think, 20 minutes in. So I think it's time to end it there, but thank you Charlotte for your suggestion on a horror coaster and it's incredible. Thank you to the creator, um, there's some tips there that I've given you and I'll see you guys in Wednesday's Planet Coaster episode. Good.